guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be trying out six current makeup trends on TikTok. And if you guys are updated with the makeup trends, I feel like you guys can already guess what makeup trends I'm trying out today because of the final makeup look. But if you want to know my ratings for each makeup trend and what I think about them, keep on watching. <laughs> She's a Mona Lisa. Okay, so let's just get started. I have already prepped and primed my skin. And the first makeup trend that we're gonna try is the blush under your foundation trend. I've just seen this trend recently and I haven't tried this trend. So basically what you're going to do is to put a cream blush or a liquid blush underneath your foundation. And it's supposed to give you a natural blushy look. So I'm going to use the Colorette Color tint in Brie and this is in a matte formula so I feel like the pigment is gonna be really good for this trend so I'm just gonna apply it straight to my cheeks and then some on my nose forehead and chin so we're just gonna that's already a lot for color yet I'm kind of nervous we're just gonna take a sponge and blend it out so, you guys can already see how pigmented it is. I'm just going to blend it upwards. That's how I apply my blush normally. <laughs> I look so stupid. I look like a clown. Oh no! I can't take myself seriously. I'm gonna put more because I feel like the foundation I'm gonna use has a lot of coverage. So I really like Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm gonna put some on my forehead. I won't add product now. And then some on my chin. Um, for the foundation, we're going to do another trend where we mix a foundation and a liquid highlighter. So I'm going to use the Colorette Shimmer Tint in the shade Crystal Prism and then the Sun Glow by Fresh Cream Tinted Sunscreen. So technically, this is not a foundation, but the coverage is already really good. So I'm going to use this. And I've been loving this product. Give it a full pump. And then I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter. And then I'm just going to mix it and apply it to my face. So basically, this is supposed to give you a really natural glow to your face. This trend I have tried and I love it. So now I'm just gonna blend the product out. I'm kind of scared that I might spread the blush to my whole face. Mm, it's like underneath my eye now. It's spreading. So I'm gonna talk about the Sun Glow by Fresh sunscreen. I bought this last, I think last June. I've been using it almost every time I would use makeup. And for a tinted sunscreen, it's so good because it gives you so much coverage. You can adjust the coverage depending on how much you put. So if you just want light coverage, you can do half a palm or if you want medium to full coverage, you can do a full pump. It's so buildable. Okay, now I'm just going to add a little bit more because my whole face is red right now. Um, just that much. I'm just going to cover my imperfection. That's what I love about this also. Like even though it's a tinted sunscreen, it can cover my acne so good. And here you can see the effect of the foundation mixed with the highlighter. I love it. Like it gives you such a glowy base. Okay, so I just reviewed the footage. You can kind of see a faint blush and I love how it's looking. It's so natural and you can just see the blush peek through the foundation. Okay, so my thoughts on that first trend, the blush underneath your foundation. It's cute. It's really natural. If you want a really natural blushy look, it's good. But I feel like you can achieve the same effect with just putting your blush on top of your foundation. I don't know. I feel like it's unnecessary and a lot of work. So I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. It's cute but it's a lot of work and you can just have the same effect by applying your blush properly. Okay and then my rating 
for the foundation plus the liquid highlighter is a 10 out of 10. Recently, I've been liking glowy foundation looks so much. The third trend we're going to try is, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically having less concealer. Because you know how like before, you would apply concealer like a huge triangle underneath your eye and then on your forehead, on your cubis bow, on your chin. Now, basically the trend is to apply like a small dot just in the inner corner you don't really need to put that much and then a another swipe going upwards at the corner of your eye so people say that this method will make your eyes look more lifted see i feel like you don't really need that much concealer i don't know why we would put so much concealer before and then you blend this one upwards i feel like it works my eyes look more lifted i think i'm gonna give that trend like a 9 out of 10 because in general i don't really like putting concealer underneath my eyes for everyday makeup because i just want my makeup to look natural so i don't really put like around my eyes before i proceed to the rest of the makeup i'm just going to set my face and put a little bit of bronzer and highlighter so for the next trend i am going to be trying the soap brow trend basically there's been a new product going around which is the brow soap. I'm gonna be using the Pastel Bay Fleeky Brows Brow Styling Soap in Clear. What I've seen people do is they spray like one, two, three, and then they go in with a spoolie. I'm using the spoolie from Miss Bella Brushes. You rub it around until it becomes like this paste like texture and then you apply it opposite of the hair growth so after that they brush it upwards but i'm not gonna do that because if i brush it upwards look i'm gonna brush it a little bit like diagonally and then i'll like swipe it down and then i'll do the other side okay this is the final brow look and i'm gonna give it a 4 out of 10 because first of all so much work for brows i usually don't do my brows at all or i just use brow mascara or just brush it with a spoolie i'm a lazy person and that's too much work for me i, I think i look weird because my brows are already so bushy and thick that it made my brows look more bushy and thick though a lot of people like it and i think a lot of people look good in it just not me the next makeup trend i've tried this a lot and it is the fox eye trend people usually use black liner but i'm going to use brown shadow and a what is this a spot liner brush this brown shadow is from mac in the shade corduroy it's just a single shadow from them and basically this makeup look will make your eyes look more slim so what people do is they just draw a small wing and i feel like this style makes you your eyes look extended and then you're supposed to fill in your inner corner and extend it a little bit more so there just kind of shade in that inner corner okay i'm gonna do it with the other side i'm giving that trend a 10 out of 10 because i'm very insecure with my round eyes and i've always wanted eyes that would just like lift up and this trend does it for me. Okay, before moving to the last makeup trend, I'm just going to apply some mascara. Okay, we're down to the last makeup trend that we're going to do. And it is the overlined lips plus a gloss. So what I'm going to use is the is the Kylie lip liner in Candy Cave. I like this lip liner because it's so close to my lip shade. Okay, so basically what you're supposed to do is to overline your cupid's bow and make it round. I personally don't overline my lip because I already like how big it is so this is gonna look weird I think so like that make it around instead okay so I'm done lining it and I'm just going to fill in until half of my lip okay there you go and then I'm going to top it off with the Alisir Al Alaxir Alaxir dot co I'm so stupid lip gloss in the shade rain I don't know how I feel about this. 
I really don't like how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I kind of look like a brat doll. It really makes my lip shape bigger. So I'm gonna give this trend a 6 out of 10 because I don't think I look good at it, but a lot of people like it. And that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what makeup trend you love or what makeup trend have you tried. Don't forget to click the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I upload. And follow all of my social media accounts, Instagram at MitchaJainsome, TikTok at MitchaJainsome, and Twitter at MitchaJainsome. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa.